Welcome to the Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time we're proud to present no less than three awards to Afaq Islamic Finance. Based in the United Arab Emirates, Afaq provides Islamic finance products and services provided by the Afaq Sharia Board. The state-of-the-art online services provide support for corporate finance, retail finance, property and auto finance and wages protection. The three awards for 2014 from Global Banking and Finance Review are Best Services Provider to Government Sector UAE Best Services to Non-Government Sector UAE and Fastest Growing Islamic Finance Company UAE Recently in London to receive the awards from Global Banking's Noel O'Leary, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Saud Al Qasimi, the Managing Director of AFAQ, and its CEO, Dr. Mahmoud Abdullah. Okay, that's Gentlemen, welcome to London and congratulations on winning the Global Banking and Finance Review Award. Thank you and thank you for Global Banking and uh, Finance Review for, uh, for the awards. Certainly I'd like to talk to you a little bit now about AFAC and, uh, and the work that you've been doing uh, and I know that uh, you actually have been playing a strategic role uh, in, in uh, the Ministry of Finance and the National Bank uh, of Abu Dhabi uh, and uh, providing uh, the eDIRAM services and I wonder if you'd be kind enough to tell us a little bit more about uh, what exactly an eDIRAM is and how it actually works and what the benefits are. Yeah, of course. Uh, let us first of all uh, define what is eDIRAM. Idraham, the government of Dubai or government of UAE, introduced Idraham 2001. And Idraham is a safe and security way to, to have the payment uh, for the government fees. Uh, 2008, we have a strategic partnership with the Minister of Finance to provide the first generation service of Idraham. That facilitates all requirements of the clients, our customers, the, uh, to, to pay the uh, government fees in safety way. Uh, 2013, Minister of Finance and uh, Bank, National Bank of Abu Dhabi introduced the second generation, which is, has same similar function of the first generation, but they enhance it. The, uh, the first generation only focusing on the government fees. Uh, second generation, they have include also the normal payment, for such as like shopping, and then they have uh, different cards now. They introduce it with a Visa card and same government fees should be applied from the uh, Durham, e -Durham. So, uh, Minister of Finance and B National Bank of Abu Dhabi asked Afaq Islamic Finance to introduce this service through their windows because we have a presence over 54 windows over UAE and uh, all government clients willing to pay or wishing to pay the, their uh, government, fee government fees should come to Afaq windows. And we have some agreement with the National Bank of Abu Dhabi and the Minister of Finance to have this service against a commission to our, uh, uh, to our uh, job we, we did. There is two main roles uh, FAQ uh, did in this uh, particular project. The first one is uh, selling the card itself and the second role is top up or recharge the card itself. Both of the, these two roles we have a commission from Minister of Finance and National Bank of Abu Dhabi according to agreement with them. So really it's, a <coughs> it's quite a high-tech solution, uh, a very modern solution, and indeed you're moving on and progressing because you've recently now opened a new outlet in the municipality of uh, Dubai. Well, what exactly is your, your vision for that and uh, whereabouts is it exactly? Uh, this is just in uh, Sheikh Zayed Road in a very prime location. It's in uh, Manara Center. And uh, we are doing all of, this is one of uh, the 54th branch in uh, UAE for our Afaq Islamic Finance Company. And we do all of our services through this uh, window. And we are, uh, uh, we are happy that we opened this branch and we are going completely to, to open more branches for our company. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, it, there are all kinds of challenges uh, and also uh, interesting services. Uh, and one I'd like to talk about is Islamic financing. First of all, uh, what are the advantages, would you say, of Islamic financing? 
uh, of course, you know, uh, globally now, uh, everyone recognizes what is Islamic finance. But the advantage, we can mention so many points here. First of all, uh, Islamic finance is rely on assets. Okay. Second, there is strict standards, follow strict standards. Third, uh, their, their formula is different. You know, they have different formula. So we provide flexibility to clients and investors and customers. Fourth, we have the Sharia scholars. Okay, Sharia scholars give certain guidelines to, uh, to the Islamic financial institution. So at least uh, if the customer uh, feel that there is uh, ethical and moral things, they are more confident to have this product in place. It's, it's interesting because, um, you know, you've experienced significant growth. It's been hugely successful. Indeed, that's why you won awards today. Uh, what would you say uh, the reasons are behind that significant growth? Uh, I believe the, the, the strategic vision of the board of directors, of the management, and the strong commitment for all the staff family to that vision, these are the, 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 the main points I want to raise in this one, uh, in this area. But there are obviously challenges. What would you see some of the challenges of facing Islamic finance? Challenges is there. All business have challenge. But you know, in Islamic finance, still there is existing conflict with the federal legalization and uh, federal law. Uh, still, you know, if you run a fi Islamic finance, for example, in in country has dual system, such like uh, Islamic finance and conventional. Still, there is a conflict between bo both of them. Also, the shortage of the human resource in this field, one of the important uh, challenges uh, Islamic finance faced. Third, I believe uh, we need to have some centralization, uh, formula centralized, uh, to be uh, guidelines for the Sharia scholars to have the same fatwa in different means. Because, see, client now and customers dealing with Islamic financial institution feel there is some uh, differences between Sharia scholars. Okay, some, uh, in, in, in some financial institution, they approve the, 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 agreement, uh, the contract. In, in the others, the, there, is not, there is no approval. So we need to have some centralization to have the same fatwa for all product and service provided from uh, Islamic financial institution. How do you think you might do that or achieve that? If the, the, the government willing, all the government globally, if they have tried to have this uh, centralization, to have one uh, Sharia port community uh, or Sharia port in, 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 in one country to issue the fatwa. That times I, I can believe and I can assure you that it can be great and it will be adding value to Islamic financial uh, institution. Excellent. Looking back on 2014, as we get near the end of the year now, you've, uh, you've had some great successes. What would you say you are most proud of in the year just gone by? Uh, thanks God, we we uh, cross uh, uh, the year with very good uh, profit in this company, and uh, uh, we opened a couple of uh, new branches in this year. We made a lot of uh, contract, uh, strategy contract, uh, strategy joint venture with the government, and uh, we win a lot of global awards this year. Excellent. Yeah. Can, you, uh, can I add to yeah. to share points here? You know, the global recognition, I, I, I believe this is, is uh, now is what all Afaq family, uh, they have a belief that there is a global recognition uh, for Afaq. At the same time, as Sheikh mentioned, uh, there is a strategic partnership with different areas and different entities and different authorities. Uh, also, Afaq now has so many acquisitions. Uh, we introduced to the market uh, our last and recent uh, a smart application to facilitate the customer needs. You know, uh, all our AFAC clients and customers can do the whole transaction through their uh, smart application, through their smartphones, uh, and we introduce also our online banking. So our uh, customers now we can do all transaction inquiries, uh, payment through our smart application and online banking system. So high-tech are excellent uh, facilities now available. Looking ahead to 2015, what are your hopes and aspirations for them? Uh, I believe this global recognition and awards and this performance for 2014 give, uh, 
pressure and, and, and responsibilities to management to continue in the same manner of growth. You know, to, to, to grow in the 2014 is amazing, but to continue growing, this need more effort, you know, to monitor competitors, to evaluate our performance from time to time. Uh, I, I believe uh, 2015 will be again great uh, year for the AFAQ and AFAQ family and AFAQ stakeholders, including our clients and, and customers. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us here today. It's been really a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. On behalf of our uh, family, AFAQ Islamic Finance Group, we would love to thank uh, Global Banking and Finance Review for the awards. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you.